Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, lordy. I accidentally hit the wrong button and the whole thing just restarted. Didn't mean for the... Literally the entire dream thing to restart, but alright, that's fine. <laughs> Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? Heritage Unit 1943, Sherry Dunbar, Union Pacific 1973, Matthew Zen. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing well today, yeah? On this fine Sunday. I also have a little bit of the sniffles, so if you hear me doing that, then that's what happened. <laughs> But yeah, we'll just let it play out. I'm honest. I'm, I'm also trying to uh, get uh, get this all set up right here for a little bit because everything's kind of a little wonky right now. Trying to get it to where I can have my uh, all my scenes up correctly, but you know. Today we're doing the root tour. I think this is going to be fun. Jake, I consider building what I want to build, my dude. Whether it's, uh, many people enjoy, enjoy it or not, I like building my, uh, I like building what I like to build, you know what I'm saying? Get ready to get the other CM44 updated. Uh-oh. Well, we'll definitely be doing that here momentarily. Ladies and beans, here we go. Let's see what happens. Let me get her over here to our scene. Am I going to have the game? No, it's probably not. Uh, properties. Nah, it's not to the right game. Okay, there we go. Can I have it? Can we not? There we go. Yes. Exactly. Exactly what we need. Now, why can't I edit how it looks? It looks a little funky. It ain't locked, is it? What's with this weird border going on here? Let's see. Let's see. No, I don't want you to lock the preview. I want uh, everything to look nice. There we go. Perfect. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? We're going to be uh, doing the root tour. Well, Chris, I'm trying to get some sleep before I go to work at three hours. <laughs> I get that. You should go get you some rest then. Don't worry about don't worry about what I'm doing here. Also, don't don't worry about this right here. This is all new area that is going to be uh, the uh, the next episode <laughs> that I have been working on. Let's see. I did the cat shell for the CM44 AH and noticed a few bugs. Uh oh. Well, then we'll definitely not get the. Definitely get to see the update then. Let's see what we got going on here. What's within? All right, so we got our CM44AH YN3TL. Texture-wise, oh okay. All right, cool. Oh, the the green uh, the green bars. <laughs> ST70AH. Ooh, I get, I agree. Uh, but let's see, we're at Castle Mountain here. Got a clear. I mean, that should be. Hold up. That actually be, should be changed. Let me go into the bear mode real quick. Signal. Shouldn't be a limited clear. It should be a high green. There you go. And you would be the limited clear. Right? Throw him there. Okay. 
no. Yeah, you would be the limited clear. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Looks so spice. Exactly. Shit. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean to delete the locomotive. There we go. 7212, you're gonna be our baby for today, right? Alright. Made some progress rail tier four, but they won't release this until someone who got early access sent them out there. I mean, that's that's why a lot of modders and stuff, such as such as myself, have uh, resulted to kit bashing, creating our own versions of the units of the uh, yeah, of the uh, tier fours. Why and three will look even spicier. Ooh, very nice. 5100 series like Q372 today out of Cumberland. Ooh, very nice. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, I think the game audio is way loud. I'm going to turn it, crank it down. All right, I have everything all ready to go over here. So, let's see. You got to give them PTC? Yeah, you got to give them PTC. We got to get the... The R mods right at CSX radio chatter in these in these bad boys somehow. <laughs> Let's see. Um the post just uh I feel like that game is still way too loud. There we go. That should be a whole lot better than what it was. PC, the PTC won't be a problem. Very nice. Let's see. At everyone in the WIT Simulations Discord, we are live. Didn't already get the memo. Hi, Craig. How are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Um. Uh, let me go on the self-promotion then, too. And, uh... Shameless self-promotion. Boom. <laughs> Alright. As well as a CNES 44 leading case 676. Might, just, might have to just make it one audio file. I mean, that wouldn't be that too bad. You didn't get? Uh-oh. All right, let me move my uh, rail driver to where it's in a perfect spot, and then we will begin our long journey across what we have done on the Riverton so far. We are currently stationed at the midpoint of Thunderhead Grade, of the new Thunderhead Grade. This is Castle Mountain. Um, the reason it's called Castle Mountain because uh, somebody suggested it as a, uh, as a name in the previous... Uh, at build episode, which the next one is currently still being worked on. Uh, that one should be coming out here in a couple of weeks or so. Remember, I have a lot of things that I'm doing, so it's just whenever I get to make it is when I'll, when I'll, when I'll make it, right? We got the high clear. We are CSX 7212 today. We got an empty coal drag that we're going to be taking all the way to the Cornersville branch line. And that is a good chunk away let's take a look at the map here this is what all i have built so far and this whole chunk right here this was all the um the what, uh, previous build episode of the um of the riverton so that would be pretty cool let's uh let's see what we get but yeah we are like midpoint i haven't made it any further here because this is going to be the next episode of the Riverton build. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, super detailing and stuff of the whole uh, mountain, of the first half of the mountain anyway. And the Castle Mountain West and on to Green Tree has not been modeled yet as well. But I have done a lot of uh, things just getting it ready for the episode. 
Like I've got, this is all Gridland, yes, but uh, this is this will all be in the next in the next episode where we will get everything all fixed up. But with that being said, got the rail driver ready to go. Let's take her down the brakes. My lights. Can I have some lights? There we go. GSX 7212. It'll be uh, clearing Cl Castle Mountain East. We're heading eastbound on the Riverton. Gotta love the eastbound, exactly. Also, uh, can you guys hear me pretty good over the game? Hope you can anyway. Westbounds are nice too, I get that. Yeah, we're gonna be heading eastbound down the uh, down the mountainside here. Go ahead and get rid of that. But right now we're just in Gridland. That's all right. Again, this is gonna be the super detailed in the next build, which will be coming out here in a couple of weeks. Thank you all so much for the um, the warm reception of that on that video. That that video got like that video had like uh, has like 60 some odd likes already and the and the one where I announced that I was coming back has like over almost 80 so I I can't thank you all enough for all of that I really can't the speed limit of this uh, of this hillside is 35 miles an hour so right now we got, uh, we're, we're still climbing at 19, but we are starting to go downhill. So she'll pick up some pace. I'm just going to keep her in notch two, notch three. And this will, uh, this will keep our pace up pretty good. You can hear my, um, can, you can hear my, um, my trailing motor back there. That, uh, that ES44AH starting to get, starting to pick up a little bit. Do it outside the cam. Well, we could do uh, this type of cam view. They kind of broken if you look backwards. We can do this type of cam cam view. Yeah, there we go. But I do like uh, sitting behind the cab and watching our results here as we make our way down the uh, Thunderhead grade. Now I've done a lot of the terraforming. That's what I've been working on a lot here lately is trying to get the terraforming done. I never want to do terraforming on camera because it's just so freaking boring. And so, like, I wanted to do all the terraforming and stuff off camera, not not on the builds. And then the builds just be focused on the uh, actual, you know, super detailing of the areas. And this one, this one of these, this area right here is actually one of my favorites. It is the uh, Thunderhead grade. But I need to fix whatever this is going on here. That's just well, a little wonky. Other than that, I like it. I like how I like how everything's going. I like how everything's looking thus far, really. And again, I apologize if you hear me uh, 
should match the track spots. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna have to do some maneuvering. They're, they're, it's the the reason it's a little wonky right now is because I'm, all I all I was doing was just laying it down, getting it to the same height, but I still need to do some maneuvering in some spaces. You was cutie 2009. How are you doing, by the way? Okay, you can slow her down just a little bit there, Jeffro. We'll keep her about, about under 30, 35 as we're just coasting down the mountainside. You can really tell, like, how much you're going down, too, just by looking at the train. Sweeping S curve. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to fill up this entire spot with like this the whole neighborhood and all kinds of fun things that are going to be coming in that episode. But Sherry, I am doing absolutely fantastic. How are you? I'm a little sniffly. I got the sniffles today. But other than that, hell, I'm, I'm all right. Doing just fine. CSX 7212. Got a clear signal. Haven't named this area yet. Eastbound, 7212, east out. <laughs> Every signal is going to have a name, but I haven't named this area yet. So, we got the high green, we got the high ball. We're good to coast on down the Little Rock. We're doing a fair, fair amount of coasting, doing exactly about 31 miles an hour. Uh, will this route be on the download station for use? Uh, eventually, yes. There, like when I, whenever I feel like that the Riverton is completely done and I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to bring it over into another trains build uh, of TRS 2019 and replace all the assets that are third party with nothing but download with nothing with nothing but download station pro uh, products. Uh, that way it can be used on the download station. I'm not going to use just any download station stuff. I'm gonna, they're they're going to have to go through my own quality check, if, it, if that makes sense. So I, uh, because I want things to look as good as they do for me as for everyone else. I don't want uh, things to be just... This is what you get. It looks better on my end, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Steam name. I'm, I don't play TRS-19 on Steam. The Discord invite is invalid. It's invalid. Inva in mm, invite invalid. Mm. Well, let me fix that up real quick. I didn't know that it was invited. Let's see. And yes, I have thought about getting the uh, railroads online, but I have not done so yet. Edit invite link, there's no link, no, it's ex never expire, generate a new link, copy, alright, edit, I'm putting in the new Discord thing right now, alright, if you refresh your page real quick, ladies and, get, ladies, and guys, uh, ladies and gents, then it will show in the description a new Discord link if you want to join the Discord. I love this little area right here. Have you considered doing it? Yes, I have considered buying railroad, railroads online. I just have not done so as of yet. Also, murder, murder does it have us at here? I don't want to go through town. I want to be on the... There we go. So I should be all clear and set up now. Okay. 
But if you guys see the new invite, it should tell you anyway. Welcome on into the Discord, my friends. No, I do not. I do not have the Strasbourg. I've been mostly focused on my on my own projects as of late than doing anything else, really. Sizzix 7212, got a clear signal. Distant to Little Rock. 7212, eastbound out. What's up, Mopac? How are you doing? I haven't named this area yet either, but like I said, every signal is going to have its own name. That way, I went like for signal calling because I love signal calling, especially with CSX ter territories. So, uh, I will definitely be having uh, everything have its own name, just like how things up th that we're about to see up here are about to have their own names as well. So. We'll get right, right into that. Losing speed, but that's only because I've just been coasting, really. Hello, Rokrell fan, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's doing well, huh? And I gotta keep her right about uh, 35 miles an hour, roughly, is our, our speed limit. AS that's missing from the route, and I don't know what they are on train 2019. Have you tried getting a hold of the creator? Let's get a drive by, shall we? I do like that K5. Very good job on that map. But the other AC44 horns that I have used in the past are available on our, on uh, Reggie's trains. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, he's the one that has that has that horn. And I know I know the one you're talking about, anyway. The Z then a nice job on the uh, on this uh, current K5. Very nice. Now we're staying steady, about 32 miles an hour. As we're about to enter Little Rock. This is uh, West Little Rock right here, so. But di be diverging from single track to track number one. Roadrunner 268. I, I have no clue then. CSX 7212, got a clear signal. West Little Rock. Go from single track main to track number one in westbound direction, 7212. Shit. Eastbound direction, 7212, east out. Pretty much, Little Rock is going to be that city that is literally the direct halfway point of the Riverton. And so, this 
as we enter into Little Rock, you know you're about halfway through. And then what it's going to amount to, I want 40 miles of mainline running on both sides of Little Rock. So all together about 80 miles of mainline running and about 25 to 30 miles of branch line running. That's what all I have thought of so far as we enter, as we're about to pass the Little Rock. The Little Rock Yard anyway. And there's the entrance to the um, Beaver Creek Branch, which we've done on previous streams. A pair of slugs, a pair of uh, yard motors. As we glide right by the Riverton, uh, the uh, Riverton, Little Rock Yard. It's in there, it's in its own place to download. It's like uh, it's miscellaneous items or something like that. Reggie's. Trains. Let's see, Reggie'sTrains.com. We go to Freeware. He must have took it down. He used to have it up on his website, but I guess he got rid of it. Guess he no longer wants that one. My, that's my bad then. And here comes East Little Rock. It's a Little Rock, the city. The only town that they uh, they know that a train's in town is well. I mean, you got to you're gonna have one go up the Holly Thicket branch line here, but as a, that is currently not built. <laughs> I've I've done some area work to it. I've done what I've wanted a little bit to it, but I I need to come back to it eventually. But that will be this would be the way back to machine time. Yeah, there you go. But that is the. Uh, the Denton subdivision, or better yet known as the uh, Holly Thicket Branch Line, that's what it's going to be anyway. And it's about 68 miles to Conway on this, so it could, because everything in my universe is all interconnected, which is why here in the city of Little Rock, there is there is a uh, Conway Saves and Cooper's Company uh, Cooper's here. <laughs> it's their second one right here, nestled in between this little hillside of Little Rock. But, uh, I really love how Little Rock has, uh, turned out so far, and I can't wait to get more of it done, honestly. Oh, no, not the Conway. Yep, the, Con the Conway is, uh, it still, it still has to have a little peace in my heart, you know, but we will continue on. I really like what the, what the Riverton is, uh, amounting to right now, to be honest with you. CSX 7212, clear signal. West Little Rock, East Little Rock, crack number one. Eastbound direction 7212, east out. About to enter some flat area. So once, as you, that sign did not lie to you. Once our train fully passes that sign right there, we are clear to do 55 on track speed. For quite some time. We got a lot of easy curves and subtle grades ahead, so it's not really going to be that big of a difference, big of a deal, but it's going to, we can definitely get some speed up on this one and uh, try to get her going, huh?
that's one of the things that I really wanted was some mainline mountain railroading. And, uh, like, I didn't want to download something, you know, I, I wanted to create something. I wanted something that was my own creation, that had my own feel to it, you know. And I, I, I really love how the Riverton is coming along, to be honest with you. There's Crawford Yard, which Crawford Yard used to be a mine track yard. They would store the co-hoppers uh, uh, co along these tracks and load them up in that small little hole back there in that old abandoned mine. But ever since the mine shuttered, it's just been used for storage. And CSX has had these cars here stored for about a year or so now. Kind of, kind of a little... Kind of a little way to... Uh, really a, a nod to, to Ravenna. And we do have a working, um, we do have a working, uh, defect detector on the route as well. That I want to edit to see if I can make the old man voice, but I don't have all the thing stuff to make the CSX old man, you know? Hey, Fosterio District, how you doing? We got 55, yep, nope, still 35. We're almost in 55 territory. Oh no, my mileage reset. What? Nah, we'll just keep you off then. Doing absolutely fantastic. Just rocking and rolling, showing everybody what we've done, what, what, what we've got created so far. I'm in 55 territory now. Crank her up, highball. And where I'm empty, I can do 55. Oh yeah. Definitely. All right. She's still climbing. We're at notch eight, I think. Not seven. No, it's a notch eight. So the screen blew off. CSX 7212, got a clear signal. Crawford, track number one to single track main. Eastbound direction 7212, east out. Thank you, Nazi 73. We've got a lot more to show off, too. Because we are just right here. We got a long way to go, my friend. We could pass control point Crawford. We got the high ball, so we are flying.
the lore. Oh, let me get over here. The river tomb is built by the C and O. It was fully done, fully done and constructed by 1893. And of course, as you all know, it was a C and O. It was a C and O main line for coal hauling and main line running to get up uh, from east to west, from west to east, rather. And of course it became the stable of CSX. Because you all pretty much know the history of the chassis. Once had, once had passenger service, Amtrak still sends a train here once a day, or twice a day, one eastbound, one westbound. But it, just imagine that the service used to be ran by the chassis. Of course, CSX running it hard today. Rockefeller. CSX 7212 got a clearance signal. Rockefeller. Single track main, eastbound. 7212 eastbound now. And the FX equipment defect detector mile post 284.4. But the Riverton was just basically a CNO colon haul, a co haul route, which became a main line back in the early 20s when everything was connected to the city of the Riverton. And pretty much the rest is history. CSX fully really took control, you know, when CSX was created. And it's been running, running. You've had a few closures of mines and stuff. Yes, there's a, there's a couple of abandoned branch lines along the Riverton, but at the same time, the Riverton also. Still, it's still a main line, so it sees trains every day. And because of precision schedule railroading, the F I mean, is it not equipment defect? If it was created by the CNO, is it main line by the CNO? You know the history. CNO defects became repeat. Chessie defects. Chessie then axle four collided with Seaboard. Length of Seaboard five three CSS nine three end of transmission. And it will do a repeat to us too. I accidentally put it on repeat. I still have yet to turn it off. The oh, yep, there it X is. Equipment defect detector mile post 284.4. No defects. Repeat. No defects. Total axle 408. Length of train 5393. End of transmission. About a hundred car coal train ready to roll. CSXT, CSX 7212, got a clearance in the Lacera, single track main, two track number one, eastbound direction 7212, east out. I mean, pretty much, I mean, the old Riverton, it was, uh, had its own abandoned history, and, the BCI re revitalizes it, but I didn't want to do BCI, man. I wanted CSX, and I wanted some mainline running, so I had to give it a mainline history. So 
So CSX, so basically it's just a CSX main line going through the mountains of East Kentucky. Uh, going through the fake mountains of East Kentucky. I guess you could say it's more based off the Big Sandy. Another one of my favorite areas. Oh, really quick. Oh, let me turn the music off for, for just a second. Okay, like really quick. Look, this area right here where our trade is currently, this baseboard, these two baseboards right here, these are, are, are the, uh, this is the original Riverton baseboard where it all began back in 2015. And, uh, there's actually a little Easter egg up here. Uh, where's it at? There it is. See how the shape of this, of this, of the, of the topography here is all kind of jumbled up and everything. It's because it used to be a highway through here on the original build that took you to the uh, Norfolk Southern Mountain Line when that was a thing. And I basically turned it into an abandoned coal mine, like it's just completely abandoned, and the only thing that's left up here is this random abandoned D9. <laughs> it's a nice little Easter egg, though, for those that knew of the original Riverton. There is that little plot that is still there. And then everything else is, you know, as I said, just rocking and rolling. Thank you. Got the job on the CNT. Nice. Oh, I accidentally hit the button. My bad. Now I need to change that to a high green because that is off. It shouldn't be a medium clear. It should be a high clear, but it's all right. CSX 7212 got a clear signal ash burn. Track one, track one. Eastbound direction 7212 east out. the Ashburn High School as we rock and roll through Ashburn. I need to slow this puppy back down to 35. We're about to hit 35 mile an hour territory again. As we're about to hit Waverly Hill. Slow it down there, Jeffro. Calm her down. We're speeding now. We just hit the 35 mile an hour limit. Slow her down. 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 I should have anticipated that one. There you go. There you go. Keep going. There we go. Beautiful. As we're now making the small climb up uh, Waver the Waverly Hill. It's not that too hard. It's not too heavy of a grade. Fully loaded coal trains without any help, but two locomotives on the front can make it over this, so. They'll be fine. Famous last words. They'll be fine. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. The Waverly Hill is also one of my favorite spots because of this, uh, because of just this grade look right here. As we get we get ready to clear Waverly here, it's just this whole. I love how this grade right here turned out. Like the fact you know, just looking straight down, and 
It's, it looks, it just looks great. I love it. I love how the whole thing looks. CSX 7212, got a clear signal, CP Waverly, track number one, a single track main. Eastbound direction, 7212, he's out. As they now begin their descent. But yeah, like, I really do enjoy on how everything has been looking so far, and I really do enjoy you know, these little ideas and little tidbits that I have thrown into the thing, into the Riverton as well. Which is still incorporating a lot of the original aspects of the Riverton as well. Such as, like, I wanted there to be a lake close to Cornishville, and there is a lake at Cornishville. And uh, took a very good thank you. But I really do love this whole this this whole hillside right here, the all of Waverly. I especially love this curve because this curve you're still going downhill. But like, let me get up on this little knob right here that I made just for camera watching. Remember, he's still going down grade too, which is it's, it's, it's really cool. I really love how all that looks. I absolutely love it. I do. I need to do some more super detailing around in this area, but I have been working on this area as well, but I've also been making its own signs, Cornets Lake State Park, because if you follow this little road here, it will take you all the way up to the Cornets Lake Dam and Marina, which we'll get to Cornets Lake here momentarily. Sorry again, like I said, I have the sniffles, my allergies are bothering me all day today. I have to, bah, driving me nuts. I need to get, do some grass cutting in this area. The grass is starting to overtake the tracks. Two twelve, clear signal, Cornish Lake. No, this wouldn't be Cornish Lake. This would be Cornish Lake. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to come up with a new name for that one. Because Cornish Lake is, is like it's 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 very own signal.
forgot to turn the bell on. <laughs> We cross over the bridge. I do love, like, could you imagine having, like, a, you got this drive-in right up here. And that drive-in, right behind the drive-in. Right over, right, just right over the knob. You got this big cut through. But the railroad sneaks right in, right in between. I think I made this its own sign. I did. We were six miles to Ashburn, 15 to Little Rock, and 34 to Perry. <laughs> Via the hi highway, anyway. There's a little piece of grid there. We are about to see Cornet's Lake, which is one of my favorite builds. I uh, like this, this this area now coming up, Cornet's Lake. It took me almost two and a half months to finish this whole area, only because it was one of those areas that I picked up on, dropped, picked up on, dropped. Because I didn't get the idea for this area here until... I didn't get my uh, the idea for the whole lake until, until I was on vacation with my wife in Tennessee, and I got the idea, was like, I want the railroad to pass by the lake somehow. And I came up with this idea here. This signal will technically be called corner flight. And if you guys remember the, uh, CSX 7212, approach medium, corner like Eastbound direction, 7212, he's out. As we now pass over the Jones River Trestle. Also, I know she's slowing down to 26 miles an hour, but I need to slow down, actually. Because we're getting ready to get off onto the Cornetsville branch line, which, with that little curve, will have to slow it down to 15. It's a tight curve. And uh, going around that too fast could end up uh, derailing you. I do like this tunnel up here though. Tunnel's great.
Imagine living right above a tunnel. So, you know, your whole house shake as trains pass underneath of you. But I do, what I like about this, that tunnel is the other end. I didn't need to fix where you, you shouldn't be able to see that. I don't know why. It actually kind of looks like it's moved out. It has moved out. What the heck? Okay. Fixed. Good. You're going to say, what the heck? But, I love what the, how this looks right here. Like, how the whole tunnel... That's just some careful placement of splines. <laughs> I would get out of the trees, it'd be all right. We're about to enter Cornetsville. As we're coming uh, coming around the lake here. Look how big that lake is. Takes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen baseboards. <laughs> Yeah, I'm lined up on the French one. CSX 7212 got a limited clear Cornersville going from track or single track main to the siding. Eastbound direction 7212 east out. Going on dark territory now. Be the last signal we call. Did I say limited clear? Or did I say just clear? Yeah, this is West Cornetsville as we enter in to the little city of Cornetsville. You blink and you'll miss it. It'd be one of those one of those tiny towns.
I haven't really done, done much of mainline building yet this way. But I have I do I do plan on eventually doing some more after I get done with the area that I'm working on currently. That would be the next episode or build episode anyway. You have returned? Uh, yeah. Let's see here. As we're now enter into the Cornetsville branch. Remember this is a uh, track warrant control. So in all reality, we'd actually have to stop and get a track warrant, but we're now entering in. The Cornersville Y, which in between the Y is a is a power station or a generation station, not a gener generator station. This is a substation. Yeah. And now we enter into the Cornersville branch. Alright, so I see everyone's talking in my Discord. Hi, Ethan. Um. I'll, I'm going to explain everything. To everyone. Because I can't talk um, on all everything that's going on. <laughs> hey, Tom, how are you doing? All right. Let me just make sure everybody's got a fans roll there. There we go. My Discord, uh, the WIT Discord's kind of blowing up. There's Rebel. But currently, we are making our way slowly. I'm, I'm coming to a stop. But hi, Tom. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. All right, so let's answer a few questions that are already that are throwing my Discord for a loop right now for some reason. Are you back? Yes, I'm back. WIT Simulations has been back now for almost a month. Uh, we have started a whole new thing for the Riverton build, and yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Uh, to answer this next question. From Nick, do you stream other games on YouTube other than Twitch? I don't stream anything. Oh, I don't stream or play anything else on the YouTube channel. The YouTube WIT Simulation is going to be more focused on trains than it will anything else. But I do have a Twitch channel at twitch.tv4 just Mr. Marco Live, where I literally play literally everything else. And I'm actually live a whole lot more over there. That last stream I was on the fields uh, like an eternity ago. Oh, yeah. You owe one. Make sure to leave from where you sit. Give Ron a case of mouth over. Come on, Jill. I'm going to get 
But um, I play all kinds of different games and stuff over on my Twitch channel, Mr. Marco Live, which is also in the description of this stream. And, um, like, tonight, this isn't the only stream I'm doing today. There's going to be a, if anybody's into wrestling, WWE, I'll be streaming that on my Twitch channel. But yes, WIT Simulations is back. Uh, you guys would get a video every, every other week or something like that. It's... It's whenever I can. Right now, I'm still working on the second episode of the build series of the Riverton. So, and because of your guys' receptions, before, because of you guys getting us up to 50 likes and 60 likes over on the last couple videos, thank you all so much. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what all you like about it. But, like... I have, uh, with that reception, I tell everyone in the community portion of the YouTube channel, hey, I'll do a stream here on WIT Simulations. What would you guys like to see? A route tour or a um, another a build, a live build, like uh, some terraforming or something? And everyone voted for the, uh, everyone voted for the, um, for the route tour. And so that's what we're doing right now. We're dr just driving along. And uh, I'm currently working on the second episode of the build series. Uh, we'll get that out here uh, here in a week or so. It's all depending on when I can have time to sit down and do, some little, bit, do a little bit more editing. Uh, just been a little busy. And you guys, uh, I'm not going to force myself to create videos anymore. But yes, WIT Simulations is back. And I'm going to keep rocking and rolling the best we can. And Rebel, that is a very beautiful picture. I love it. I love the flowers. The high shooter simulations, how are you doing, my friend? Well, hello then, JP, and it's good to see you as well. It's good to see you as well, but yes. We are currently making our way down the Cornetsville branch line, which is currently the most eastern portion that we can go down. Um, and this is the latest, latest build anyway. Uh, the latest episode, episode one of the Riverton, which episode two is still currently, like I said, in the works. And we're getting closer and closer for it to be released as well. One thing that really does bug me is the, is the, is whenever I do, uh, streams or, uh, is whenever I'm doing streams or whenever I'm doing, um, like a, um, you're on your, you're, you're, at, you're, you're on your break. Nice. Whenever I'm doing streams or whenever I'm doing, hey, what's up, Chance? How you doing, friend? How are you doing? Also, Chance, did I show you that thingy? Hold up. I got a picture to show you. So, what's up, Nick? How are you doing? So, Chance, I, uh, <laughs> on my Twitch, you know, I think I've, uh, I think I've unleashed something here. <laughs> Chance, I just sent you something on Discord. Uh, <laughs> I think you. <laughs> what do you think? But how are you doing, Nick? Is there any other good places to get stuff modernish other than JR? Um, yeah, our, our mods. Um, I would say the back shops, but the back shops is gone <laughs> um, but there are some places that still host uh, some of his content so yeah back shops has been gone for quite some time how about a little bit of cinematics huh
Uh, Approach Medium's website has a lot of nice little uh, stuff, uh, like these modern modern houses. These these are all off of Approach Medium's website, and uh, I really do enjoy how they look here and seniorized. They're usually made for suburbs, but if you put them, Trump Point Simulations has some uh, great stuff too as well. Find the whole TBS issue, but it would be quite lengthy for the chat. Oh, I get that. Yeah, Control Point Simulations has some has some good stuff as well. I looked at the back shops before, and I found, I found a place to get trade engines. Oh yeah, back shops has a lot of great it had a lot of great engines. That was all. There was a, mostly all created by train man right there. Chance done some great work on those locomotives. Oh, physical motors. Ah. We need to slow her down here. We're going into 15 mile an hour territory. We actually got to stop here momentarily. Tell me that the picture of the NSSD60 I put in real life real in this sort of fake, and I didn't take it, but I stood in the Well, I'm gonna be up for a while, man. I got another stream to do right after this. <laughs> How are the people saying that that's fake? It looks like a good picture to me. But yeah, Chance still sends and stuff. I mean, I think Logan gave me permission to, like, whenever I want to, I, like, whenever, if, if I ever release something that uses a lot of his assets, he said I could package them up. But that was a long time ago. I don't know how he still stands on that. Yeah, I'm also, yeah, I also do a WWE stream. Uh, if you guys are into wrestling, I'll be doing wrestling later on tonight on my, uh... Yeah, you told me that as well, so... Really wouldn't have that problem with the back shops, it'd just be RMOS stuff that I'd have to get rid of. Which I mostly just used all the CSX assets because, you know. It's a CSX route. Why not use CSX assets, <laughs> right? <laughs> We definitely should. Uh, I got some time off coming here soon. Chance, I will get up with you if, uh, because, well, me and my wife are also celebrating our two year anniversary sometime this week. It'll be Wednesday. Thursday, we'll be doing some going out and doing some, doing some stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good. Me and my wife has made it two years. I need to come to the stop right now. Like, now, 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 now. All right, so I'm going to put her in DCC mode. Load her away. We are at the CNC Cornisville Prep Plant. Well, yeah, of course it's 18 plus because I have I I do a lot of language. Like I have extensive language over there. Okay, it's not nothing too major. I'm not I'm not I'm not a bad of a person or anything. I just say a lot of. Uh, 
F bombs and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> like, uh, like Sarah just said there, like she deserves a damn medal. We'll see you later, shooter. Enjoy the rest of your day, my friend. The normal swears, Chris, exactly. There's nothing. Yeah, there's there's nothing too, like there's nothing too major 18 plus on my Twitch channel. I just make it 18 plus because I don't want no kids being in there. I don't like I like I don't want kids over here. I want people that understand what's going on, understand my content, understand me. I don't need no squeakers over on my. Twitch page, especially when I'm drinking, because I have like just like my last stream last night. It was a drink stream. Someone that's under 14 has still still has you know squeak voice and still don't understand what's going on. My Twitch channel isn't for everybody. They will be traumatized. Exactly. Uh oh, I accidentally stopped her. All right, but we're going to leave this guy alone. Let him do the loading. We'll check back in on him. Fort, I mean, I mean, listen, if you, as long as you are like, I want mature audiences, if that makes sense, especially on my Twitch, it, like, but for wrestling and stuff, I wouldn't consider it 18 plus. Just know that there's going to be some language involved. Okay. If you like wrestling, you want to follow that show. You're more than welcome. VR chat stuff. I don't know. I like, cause I do a lot of drinking on there. Uh, I don't recommend watching my VR chat streams. <laughs> Unless you can handle a joke. Let's bring out some, uh, let's bring out some good, big, big AC44, huh? Nah. Uh, bring out 107. Uh, let's bring out 3440. And why not? The Western Maryland Heritage Unit. Let's see. I mean, I mean, listen, like, that's just what it is. Like, that's, I'm just, I'm just gonna be, I have to be straight up with you guys. If, uh, you're gonna be, if you're gonna follow my Twitch, just know that it, yes, there is some, there is some uh, content on there that I, is not meant for younger audiences. It's made, it's made for mature audiences. I think some of my uh, things on here is absolutely broke. Uh, let's see. Let's create a manifest, huh? Remember these old guys? Oh lord. I played a lot of uh, MSTS back in my day. Uh, been away from trains for a while. What happened to Reggie? Oh, I have no idea. I haven't talked to Reggie in almost two years, dude. Me and him have had a little bit of a falling out. And, you know, bygones be bygones, but like, I haven't talked to him forever. I know his website's still up, so you can still get his content over there. See, let's take a look at what we got. Just 
Just making us a nice little manifesto here. I really need to have all these guys like fixed up a little bit better. The Berkshire. 765? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> And see, Norfolk Southern doesn't look too out of place either. Where did I get what logos? It's all from various different places, honestly. Some of them are, uh, some of them are also hand created as well. OS is answering, calling in. OS is answering. OS is answering. What did that woman just say? Does that pop up eighty four? No, it doesn't pop up eighty four. Go ahead, go ahead, Victor. Go ahead, Victor eighty four. Go ahead. Just go ahead to whoever she's trying to get a hold of. Please, just go ahead. <laughs> Copy that. We'll give you 30, a 20-minute ETA. You all be safe now. OS is out. 20-minute ETA, she says. What's up, Ralph Fan and Stockton Sub? How are you? No, it's it's uh, actual radio that's playing right now. Oh, the TBS locomotives! Chances creations. <laughs> Just creating us a nice little. Ah, no, I use the 73 footers. A nice little manifest here. That's too clean. What in the hell? <laughs> oh, oh god, 1943. Hello. <laughs> Actually, you don't look too bad. So that I know your cab does. I know your cab looks absolutely god awful. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, too clean. Let's see. That can work. FX Let's get some center beams going on here. Some center beam action.
yeah, I do play I play WW2K19. I'll be playing that later on tonight on my Twitch channel when this uh, this whole thing that me and a bunch of my friends have created our own little custom uh, Seems like all my, um, oh, no, 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 there it goes. Whatever that is, I don't like it, though. I don't like that amount. Let me get rid of that. Ba-da-ba-da-bum. Ba-ba-ba-ba-bum. Ba -ba 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 No, I can somewhat accept that. But I want... Attach an EOT! <laughs> Don't put them up front. Exactly. Where in... Where is in something that can use stupid... I know you can. You got to, right? Ah, yeah. Good. Now, can I get, uh, edit session, driver commands, edit commands, I want, insta load, check, check, driver mode. Make sure he's still going over here. You're still loading, right? Yeah, you're still going. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, probably, need, probably will need some DPU action, wouldn't we? Yeah, I probably will need some DPU action. Uh, let me, uh, first. Let me just make it to where you're just loading. That way I know you just don't run straight off the map. Load for me, buddy. Look, it's miles finished. So from right here to the very western edge is, uh, 29 miles. Just like this. Insta load. She goes through and randomly loads the cars up to a certain point. <laughs> I think that box car is stopping it though. No, that guy has to be stopping him. Well, either way. We'll go ahead and put through, go through here and put some random loads. That'd be cool. I mean, right now, they, they, they have Amtrak, but 
That would be cool. That'd be pretty dope. Are you willing to go back into that? Clear out of ba -da -bum. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Guys gonna be loaded with down the track ballasts. Or we can just do a couple of them with scrap metal as well. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Load these guys down real quick. Shit. As long as I have proper drawings. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Alright, I like these random loads. Looking good. Got some empties back here. So now what we're going to do is throw um, throw 911 back here for, for no reason. That's a DPU. All right. Now let's take your eastbound or westbound, shall we? It had to be something CNO esque. Hey guys, do you think I'm uh, giving to the foamers too much on this train? We got 3440, the Spirit of Ravenna, the Western Maryland Heritage Unit that I that uh, that I made, and we got 911 pushing with a CSX AC44 still in Y and two at the. the <laughs> What's up, Quick Nova? How are you doing? All right, she is ready to depart. CSX Q103. No, 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 no. Q473. That sounds a bit better. CSX Q473 on the CSX D1. Uh, lead motor CSX D107. Got a clear. Cornersville, uh, Cornersville branch. Going from our uh, quick. West Cornettsville, going from side to main, CSXT 107, westbound. That's uh, that was a mouthful. Take this manifest. 
westbound. Well, in that regard, you KNL 282, 284, 464, and Ben Neal 2666. Oh, the Greenbrier. That'd be a, that'd be a fun one. So in all reality, this train would not be coming off that branch line like it is. It'd be actually on the main line. But this train right here would be a 80-mile uh, hot shot from, uh, from Riverton to uh, Perry, which would be the most western end. Four eight four, yeah. <laughs> this train would traverse the entire eighty mile length of the Riverton. There's one east, one full eastbound train, and there's one full westbound train. That traversed the entire Riverton. That is all manifest every single day. And you got uh, on the Riverton, you got two major manifests, uh, two minor manifests, four intermodal trains a day. Um. An abundance of coal trains going in between the mines. And uh, two passenger trains a day. The Riverton's actually pretty busy. Pretty busy. Little route. It is, it is indeed, indeed. Flame Rails, how you doing, my friend? The Riverton is is okay is more or less loosely based off of the uh, the CSX. Um, is loosely based off of C CSX's. Uh, Ah, I forgot the name of it now. Um, is loosely based off of CSX's CNO Big Sandy subdivision. It's all East Kentucky mainline railroading, east and westbound traffic, rocking and rolling through the mountains. The signals they are not available to the public. They were made. They were. Um, they were made by Reggie at the begin. Uh, Re Reggie and. Somebody else uh, actually created them. They were going to release them, but they decided not to, where it uses the JR signal library. So these signals will not be uh, available to the public. But the, um, the, uh, the there is a bunch of them that, uh, that I also use from the DLS by Justin Roth or JMR. But these signals will not be available to the public, some, um, most of them, because I had some of these before. It was way before, it was like, I've had them for over two years, two and a half years, excuse me, of, uh, I was beta testing them for, for them, and then they decided not to do it. And that's what these are, I think some of these are based off the CNOR 2s Cool, we have watched this entire train.
Very nice indeed. We are rocking. As our train is now officially completely on the main line. Heck, half of it's already going through the first tunnel here in the, uh, at Cornish Lake. Let's get back on board, shall we? Or would you guys like some more outside shots? All right, chat. This is this is your time to shine. Cab view. Or, sh or um, real fan shots. I agree, Whitecap is the best. And here we are on board CSX 107 as we're crossing the massive Cornish Lake. Jones Creek Trestle. We got us another clear hang, hanging out up there. What I say this was CSX Q476 on the CSX T107. Got a clear signal, a corner's lake. Single track main, westbound direction, 107 west out. Cornish Lake is one of my favorite builds I've ever made. Open the window, let's stick our head out the window. Hey Rosetta, how are you doing? You know where I can get a nice trestle slash bridge asset? I'm currently working on a route. Missing you in the background. I had a small problem. I ain't got no nice. What's up, it's unreal. How you doing, my friend? Yep, those are RRTK bridges. They are on the DLS. Very nice. Very nice little bridge asset. I love them. We're almost at track speed of 35 right now. Let's see. Uh, every time I click on and back off, it resets the mileage, but then I'll have to whatever. So we'll see what the actual mileage is once we get everything there. Slower down yeah, a little bit. No defects. No defects. Total axle. Passing through the corner to uh, Cornish Lake cut here. And this cut was built to, di to divert the tracks away from the river. Yeah, that way they can make the uh, homemade lake because, or the homemade, the uh, man-made lake, that is Cornish Lake. The tracks at one time, I need to put some depressions here to where you can see the tracks used to be right through here. But like, the track used to follow along the river a long time ago. But because of the lake, because they wanted to build the lake, they needed to build the cut through. And this cut through gave them that edge. That way they could have the lake, and the tracks diverted, and the trains actually got quicker.
you don't see the button that auto fills the cars. It's it's not, it's one of those uh, it's one of those things that you have to put into the session yourself. It's not something that's automatically uh, automatically set up. CSX one zero seven got a clearer signal. I don't know the name of this location yet, but westbound direction CSX D one zero seven westbound. James River, the relay cabinets are elevated in case of flood. Ooh, very nice. Listen, guys, with the latest version of the Riverton, I've been getting crazy with this stuff. Like, I found these U.S. road signs, and I've been giving every single highway its own name. And <coughs> see, if you, West 122 takes off that way, North 295, or South 295 takes off that way, right? But if we look at our map here, if you look at the scale, 122 follows along the tracks while the river and 295 go through here off camera, right? Well, if you was to have, if I was to have all this built, then it would all basically connect, right? And that's exactly what I did. It's the same exact river and the same exact highway that we meet right back up with over here in this area. Uh, uh, but this is, you know, 295 and the river from the lake. So, not, uh, little tidbits like that that I like really like have uh, have fun with, but I really do j still enjoy some tidbits and creations here, such as this area right here, the beginning of Waverly Hill. And our cha train, yeah, there's Turfex, and there is uh, JBC stuff here. I have a mix of uh, Turfex and JBC, if you can see the grass, but I don't have it turned on the red sway because it lags out too much. I have so much th things going on here that my 2070 super bogs down, so you know. I absolutely love how this all looks here right here. Waverly Hill. It's, a, it's one of my favorite places on this route. See, he's actually climbing this small grade here. I absolutely love this hill. Oh, we can't see his lights. There he goes, okay. See, he's making this climb, and this right here at the signal at CP Waverly is the uh, the crest. And then he starts going back downhill on the main line. But Coline really adds to the scene, exactly. CSX Q476 on Lee Motor CSX 101 or 107. It was 1007. Got a clear signal on CP Waverly. Single track main to track number one. Westbound direction CSXD 102. 107. West out. No, you don't really... Okay. The, the, the code you have to put in yourself. It's one of those commands you have to go into to, like, edit the session and add in the command yourself. Definitely gives off a big Sandy subfield. It really does. And that's, that's mostly what I wanted to 
push for was the was uh, making it kind of look like the way uh, the, the the big sandy really. But speaking of areas looking like the big sandy, like if you've ever seen the uh, high school over in Shelbyana, I kind of gave off that feel as well with this one. And this is uh, this is CP Ashburn. And uh, like as you can tell, the old R2s, their time is almost up as they're starting to build the signal bridges. We're about to get some uh, get to, about to get some updated signals going on here. But yeah, CP Ashburn's also really nice. Waverly is a signal on the NS Norfolk subdivision. Nice. But Waverly is, Waverly can be numbers of things. It doesn't have to be, you know, like, there's plenty of places named Waverly. <laughs> oh, I am speeding. So, so down there, Jeffro. It's not 55 yet. Where's the 55? There he is. I really do like, uh, could you imagine, you know, it's football season, so you know, football game. And then all of a sudden. The amount of content, there's a lot of content that was actually being dropped at the beginning of this Pokemon there. Pretty real ones don't show too much sign of being replaced, although some individual signals have been replaced. Yeah, exactly. I turned off my bell. I did. Yeah, there is a lot of content being replaced. Or being replaced. Being, being released. To everyone that has uh, joined the uh, WIT Simulations Discord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in, all of them. Greatly appreciate everybody. How are you all doing today, huh? Also, again, thank you all so much for your reception. Thank you all so much for, for the uh, welcomes. I, I really thank every single one of you guys. I am 55 territory yet? Nope, still 35. Look at that. It's, it keeps resetting. Stop resetting. I know it ain't one mile. We've, only, we've traveled this train for almost 15 minutes. We've only went one mile. Huh? Come on, give me the 55. Come on, give me the 55. CSXQ 476 on the CSXT 107. Got a clear signal. Sarah, got track number one, the single track main. Westbound direction 107, west out. Rocking and rolling down the uh, CSX Riverton subdivision. With our manifesto. There's the 55 high ball.
If only gas was still 212. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetting. <laughs> the convenience stores of Speedway. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Let me see if I can get in drone camera because I love, I love this little scene right here. Uh, that's walk. There we go. Page up, page up, page up. Boop, 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 boop. Close enough. You know I'm on the bridge. Yes, sir. Those are some JR boulders. Hold up, we'll get we'll get it. Uh, we'll get us a nice little place to look at. Ah, yes. Perfect. We are just rocking along, aren't we? CSX Equipment Defect Detector Milepost 284.4 Hello, Divergent Clear. How are you? We're almost at 51 miles an hour in this. She's uh, hurling like a speeding boil it. Boil it? Bullet. Boil it. <laughs> boil. <laughs> Lord. Can't speak. Let's see. There's nothing out of, the, or out of the ordinary, right? Everybody's all fixed up. Yeah. Doing good, we are just rocking along the river right now. I'm still doing it too early. She'll be rumbling down the mountain when she comes. She'll be rumbling down the mountain when she comes. She'll be rumbling down the mountain. She'll be rumbling down the mountain. She'll be rumbling down the mountain when she comes. Delayed because Verizon failed. Yep. All the detectors going off. 
Detector, file post, two, eight, four, four. Did we get a tricycle? Four. No defects. Ah, we have it. Repeat, a... no defects. Total axle, five, one, six. Length of train, seven, three, three, two. End of transmission. Eh, we're only 7,000 foot. We're not that big. CSX Q476 on the CSXT 107. Get a clear. Limited clear. Uh. What did I. What did I call this? Equipment. CP Crawford. Detector. Mile post. Two. Single track to track number four, one. Or track number two, rather. Four, 107. No Westbound defects. direction. Westbound. Repeat. No defects. Total axle. Five. One. Six. Length of train. Seven. Three. Three. Two. End of transmission. At least we're only. CSX is right. Isn't that big? I mean, yeah, we're really like with C as with CSX's current standards, we're not that big of a train. Should have made them a little longer. <laughs> a train uh, had an ECC issue and CCR that put in suppression. I guess CCS opened up it anyway. This, uh, some of these areas here are also original. Norfolk Southern, mile post, 134.4, no defects. All right, where in the world did the Norfolk Southern defect detector come from? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sitting there wondering, like, wait a minute. Norfolk Southern. No, there it, is. there it goes again. One, three, four, point four, no defects. Cool. Well, I'm glad on somebody on the Norfolk Southern doesn't have a <laughs> doesn't have a defect. I'm glad that no one has hit a tricycle thus far. That's good. Especially when you were flying 55 miles an hour. We just need to keep this speed at 35, and then we'll be starting up the, uh, the grade. As we are entering in the, the midpoint of the Riverton. Well, what's going to be the midpoint of the Riverton. Little Rock. There's two branch lines that take off in the town of Little Rock, which is why it has a yard. This yard is no longer in use. It, the only thing it is used for is for CSX to have stored cars, such as this uh, string here. Kind of my little... What's up, H-Line? And currently, I'm just listening to um, the hub of CSX. Um, tune in. And then you got some radio chatter inside the cab here, inside the game. Is <laughs> the overlord, I hear everything. I must have everything at my disposal. We're already on an SP4 of TRS-19 now. That's wild. CSXQ-476 on the CSXT-107 got a clear signal. East Little Rock, track number one to track number one. Eastbound direction, or westbound direction. 107, west out. Five. Why? <laughs> Stuck on TS12. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, that I, I, I like. I'm gonna have to just go ahead and say this outright. We're gonna hit a truck. Not today. 
go truck get out of there get out of there truck hurry oh no 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 I just made it worse I just made it worse get out of here get out of here get out of here yeah <laughs> dead rest is baguette never forget Uh, boom. <laughs> well, chemical spills in Little Rock as train collides with tanker truck. Boom. <laughs> We're just going to pretend like that never happened. Hello, 102, 7010. All this journey. <laughs> We're just going to pretend like that never happened. <laughs> Rex and Spaghetti CSX 107. <laughs> yeah, because if that if that was a reality, 107 would uh definitely would have took a hurt on that one. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Expert crispy with a hint of ethanol. Exactly. <laughs> another day. <laughs> another day. Another YM2 AC44 loss. <laughs> well, hold up. We're going to pause everything real quick. Actually, it would not be YM3B anymore because CSX has recently stopped using the boxcar logo on their recent paints. We're going back to CSXYN3, but now with the CSX.com, uh, uh, yeah, CSX.com now at the bottom of the leather. And so it's just regular CSXYN3. We're going back to the big CSX lo lo logo. At least it wasn't a tricycle, hey. At this point, we wish it was a tricycle, huh? But, like, yeah, YN3 is now YN3C. No longer YN3B, YN3C. <laughs> They're getting rid of the boxcar. Like, let us go back to YN2. YN2 was their most original. YN2 is the best. I have to agree 100%. YN2 Jeevos, yes. They're a little yard slugs waiting for their next job. As we now begin our climb. Thunderhead grade. There was never any YN2 Jeevos, huh? I do need to sit down and make more of my uh, heritage units, like my Western Maryland that I made there. That's the only one I've made. I also made a Conroe one, but I've never finished it. CSX 107, gonna clear us in the West Little Rock, westbound direction, single track main, er, track number one to single track main, westbound direction, 107, west out. What if they had YN2 EMD AC70 Aces? Well, they would have lasted for a while. What was fake? Yeah, th these these are fake. These guys aren't real. But YN2 Jeevos never existed. Wait, what? I've lost the EOT connection.
as we are now making the climb of the Thunderhead grade. We are now going to be climbing for an exact six miles. And then it takes a break for a split second for a sighting. And then it climbs another 12 miles. <laughs> Thunderhead Grade is massive. Climbing a solid sixer, yep. That we are. It really did bleed me, didn't it? Oh yeah, the big fancy yellow logo on the AC6000. Oh yeah, those are really nice. What percentage? It's about roughly a 0.5% to zero. Uh, sometimes it gets higher to about like 0 0.6. I didn't want it to be massive, like like a, like a one like a like a one and a half and stuff like that because the uh, as I've done some tests, uh, I had it go up all the way up to 1.6 before. And even with two, uh, lo two locomotives on the front, two locomotives on the back, with a nice 35 mile an hour push before they got started, they still stalled out. So it was just uh, a matter of finding the right percentage that our train could easily climb this hill. Basically the normal AC6000 scheme. Yeah, exactly. We're climbing a little bit. We got we got a nice little take on this mountain right now. Oh. JSX 107 clears and all some rando area that I have not named. The commodity that weighs the most has the steepest hills. That is that is one thing about it. There, there over there is the interstate that goes through Little Rock. Flying right by over there. We got Highway 122 right there that has been following us ever since the beginning. And the and the river that has been following us since the beginning. And this little part right here is my little take of Pool Point. If anybody knows where Pool Point Tunnel is, it's a tunnel, classic right into a bridge. Or, or yep, kind of my take of Pool Point Tunnel. We're also still a climbing. He makes his way either out the other side. And what's going on there? I got, I got some uh, issues with the uh, rocks there. The twin tunnels on the CSC. Oh yeah. The very first <laughs> version of trains. It probably has been the, in a house I said. So I probably reused a lot of them, honestly. Let's 
CC sub searchlights. Oh, they found they removing the searchlights off of the old LNN. I have rough around around the twin tunnels uh, for as long as I can remember. Ooh, nice. How long until the route is done is going to be quite some time. But you guys will be seeing every single inch of it being made, except for terraforming, of course. But you guys will be able to see everything in the, in the uh, newest YouTube videos as well. Yeah, I don't think the EK, uh, I don't think the EK or the Rock House is going to be getting touched quite some time. Longer than the B&B. &B. <laughs> CSXT 107, advanced approach. Somewhere, wherever this is. And, but yeah, we're back in Gridland. This is actually, this whole area right here, as you can see, it's all terraforming, terraformed and everything. But, this is going to be our next build episode. So, um... Nice little spoiler to get you all ready for this one. You guys, you guys be here to see all the super detailing of the. Um, we're gonna be doing this whole six miles. The KD. It's an amazing location, but unfortunately, a mix of PSR and closing mines have caused the line to have very low traffic. Oh yeah, that's for sure. And then you know, look. I even do some stupid things like this, where 122 takes off and then it starts up the uh, U.S. Highway 451 and then divides itself into a, a divided four-lane highway. <laughs> While 122 will fo still follow along the tracks. <laughs> That'd be kind of ridiculous, wouldn't, would it not? You gotta go one. All right, we'll see you later. But until we see you next time, beat yourself, love yourself, hell yourself, huh? But yeah, we're back in Gridland. One twenty-two is to the is to the Riverton as the US twenty-three is to the Big Sandy. Exactly, that is exactly what I was wanting to go for on that one. And it says, and you, like, uh, Kentucky Highway 122 is waiting to the James River, exactly. It is also a nod to my favorite locomotive, CSX 122. Uh, that was the one locomotive for anybody that didn't know. It was the one that I actually got to go aboard and drive for three and a half hours. And I loved every moment of it. That was uh, the AC44 122 that now is CSX 7006, a CM44AC. She got rebuilt, she got her a new number, but she's still out there rocking and rolling. But yeah, we have made our climb and I will, we're about to hit the, um, About to hit the uh, Castle Mountain siding. I need to finish the. Uh, I need to finish the terraforming going through here, but then they pretty much more or less in the clear on that one after. After we get the after we get the terraforming done and finished up on it, should be ready to rock. And I'm gonna be, and uh, as the further west we go, the fur the more brackets we're going to see because I love brackets. I love bracket signals. I don't know why, but I really love bracket signals. <laughs> if anybody knows the CNO, especially the Big Sandy, then you know bracket signals. All right, one.
So in all actuality, we'd have been just kept moving on. But CSX 107 got a clear signal. Castle Mountain East. Single track main to single track main. Or main to main. Yeah, main to main. Eastbound or westbound direction. 107 west out. As our train enters in the Castle Mountain siding. But yeah. That pretty much sums that one. Oh yeah, there's a couple of um, there's a couple of them over there in uh, that still that's still working over in Pikeville. Now I know of. But ladies and beans, this is what we're gonna have to call it for today. Hope you all have enjoyed seeing what we've got so far, and there's gonna be a whole lot more to come on down the line. We got our next build of the Riverton coming out, which will be this whole area here. And um, just thank you all for being here. Meanwhile, back in Gridland. <laughs> but, Gridland for now. On the next episode of the Riverton, you guys will see every bit of this get done, which should be in a couple of weeks. Just give me some time, and I will have the next video out. If you guys are interested, remember I do wrestling and other kinds of other games as well on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Michael Live. It's in the link in the description below. And also make sure to check out the sponsor of WIT Simulations, SwiftLifestyles.com. Make sure to use promo code Mr. Mako for 50% off of anything that you order. Huh? But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for the welcomes. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all for, so much for hanging out. We'll see you on the next build. But until we see you to the next time, I only got one last thing to say. And that is, be yourselves, love yourselves, hell yourselves. And I'll see you on down the line. Bye bye Norfolk Southern, mile post, 148.1, no defects. Norfolk Southern, mile post, 148.1, no defects.